In this demo, uh, we are going to show two uh, features of 3Scale. The first one is the uh, new feature in release 2.7, which is the uh, backends and the uh, ABI product. The second feature is the ability to expose uh, backend SOAP web services. So starting with backends, uh, so in 3Scale uh, 2.7, the backends and the ABI product concept was introduced. Backends is nothing but uh, mapping the endpoints into a three scale. So in this demo, we have two backends. One is REST surface that maps to uh, a public REST surface pub published on the uh, internet. Another one is the uh, SOAP. So the mapping is nothing but just giving a name to the uh, surface. Right, and the system name, and then the uh, private base URL, uh, the server URL where the uh, surface is deployed. And then we also uh, having two methods for this REST surface. One of them is to getting list of users, another one is to get list of posts. Right? Uh, the method is nothing but just a method name and the uh, unit uh, in addition to the system name. So then we have the uh, mapping rules that maps from a method into a, a surface URL. So if we look at method users for this backend, it maps to uh, URL, which is slash avi slash users. Good. So the second endpoint, it's a, a soup endpoint mapped to a backend surface inside 3 scale. If you look at the uh, soup, so this is the uh, soup private base URL, uh, in addition to one method, which is the uh, web surface uh, functionality, the soup calculator. And for the mapping rules, it is only one uh, mapping rule that maps from the web surface URL into the uh, method. But for the uh, SOAP services, because uh, within SOAP service you have different operations, the way uh, 3Scale works requires mapping the uh, SOAP operations into a metric. So we have one operation called add integration uh, integer and the second one divide integer. So once we are done with the backends, the next step is to create an ABI product. So creating an ABI product is nothing but just create the product, giving it a name, and then giving it the uh, different configuration. So we have one product here, which is a demo product, REST plus SOAP ABI. So once you create the product, you can add different backends from the uh, backends you created in the previous step. So in our case, Let's have an overview. So this is the uh, surface name, the uh, sorry, the ABI product name, right? And if you look at the integration and look at the backends, so we have two backends here mapped to the uh, SOAP API, the uh, ABI product. So uh, looking at the uh, again the overview, right, of the uh, ABI. Product. So we have the ABI product and we have two backends mapped to uh, the ABI product. While you are mapping the uh, backends, right, you provide also the uh, context URL. So if we uh, go back to, for example, REST, sorry, just edit. You click on edit. So you just map the backend into a context path. So when you access uh, the ABI product, uh, so to reach out to different backends, you need to have the different paths. One more configuration we need to add for the SOAP support. For uh, the ABI uh, gateway policies, we need to add the SOAP policy. But inside the SOAP policy, we need to definitely map the different 
soap operations. So the way it works, you select the metric, we create it. We have added two metrics there. One of them is add integer, another one divide integer, and then you map it to the pattern within the uh, soap surface, right? So now we have the uh, ABI product configured and uh, it is one product mapping two different backends and the backends coming from two different uh, let's say servers right and one of them is a rest another one is a soap surface so once you are done definitely you need to create an application plan so as usual you just create an application plan where you define the different rate limiting right you can define the different rate limiting at the back end level because now in the back end we have the different methods and metrics created within each and every uh, back end uh, in the API uh, product uh, also uh, you can uh, define the pricing right bare again bare method bare back end method right so uh, anyway the the application will add nothing but the limits and the pricing so uh, last but not least is to create the different applications so right now we have one application that grants the uh, ABI developer access to the ABI product through uh, an ABI uh, key because if we go back to the uh, settings of this ABI product for the authentication we have selected the ABI key authentication method okay so back to the configuration so this is the api and we are ready to uh, test it if we go to the original services right so this is the original surface right if you click on uh, list of users so these are the list of users if we want to see it in action so slash api slash users this is the uh, response of the original backend uh, service, right? That's mapped inside the ABI product. And now, if you go to the gateway, this is the our gateway URL, where the two backends are mapped. One of them, as we said, is the REST API, and we give it the path REST, so slash REST slash ABI users. And definitely, we need to give the user key, which is the ABI key. So click hitting the URL so we're getting the response if for any reason we're giving a wrong ABI key definitely authentication will fail otherwise we're giving users while in the uh, soup case right so this is the uh, soup surface right we have the add integer we have the divide integer the different uh, soup operations right so we are using this uh, plugin right in Chrome uh, just to hit the uh, soap operation. So we have the add integer if we go there. So again, this is the gateway URL, and we have the sorry, this one, but and we have the context which is so. And here we are calling the add integer, right? And passing the URL, so send, We're getting the response 21. We add 30 to 10, result is 40. So uh, going back to the uh, ABI product, so to summarize, we have created two backends, and the two backends, one of them uh, having rest endpoint while the other one uh, maps uh, soap endpoint and then we created the uh, methods and metric for each of them we also configured the uh, soap policy inside the ABI gateway to be able to uh, consume the uh, soap services and then we added the two backends to one ABI product and in the ABI product we configure the ABI key uh, as uh, an authentication method and also we created the application plan and then the application to get ABI key for uh, one of the uh, developer accounts to be able to test the ABI uh, process.